All right, so Brandon, you got me? I got you. For sure. As a, uh, <laughs> one of the three returning starters from last season, how do you feel your role as a leader on this team is different from last year? Um, I don't think it's different at all. Uh, I'm going to just keep challenging myself to come, become an even better leader and um, just try to take this team as far as I can as a point guard. And um, yeah. And so far, I know you guys had some summer workouts, obviously with the new freshman class coming in. What have you seen from them that gets you really excited about the season? Um, just their heart and their determination. Um, Johnny and the whole coaching staff has been doing a great job of bringing in players with heart and players that just love to grind. You know, they don't back down from the challenge. They don't act like your typical freshman. And I've been having a lot of fun with that. Um, uh, how is this practice period going to be harder? Is it being three hours long uh, uh, rather than it? Yeah. Our practice has always been three hours long once we get into yeah. the flow of things, but I think we're, we're prepared for it. I think today's going to be fun. And um, in terms of the freshman, I mean, you would never practice mm -hmm. three hours. Like, how can you kind of be that, give them advice to be that motivation for them? Uh, I'm just going to continue to encourage them and tell them that they got it, but I think we're definitely all in great shape, and I think you guys will see that today. So. Thank you to our strength coach, Rucci, for that. He really prepared us to be able to practice for three hours and to play hard defense, and you'll see that today. What have you been working on since the end of last season to improve your game for this year? Um, I've been definitely working on my three-point shot. Um, I think I'm able to get to the basket. I think I'm able to be active on defense. But what my game has been missing is just a consistent three-point shot. So I've been working really, really hard on that, and I think you guys see that this year. Um, Coach uh, Taylor said the mantra was kind of closing the gap this year. Who? Uh, you know, had said that the mm -hmm. mantra this year was kind of uh, uh, Closing the gap, I guess, from those losses you took last year, being mm -hmm. like 20 to the point losses. Right. Um, does that kind of uh, excite you? I mean, going into practice to beat and to have this motivation that y'all can go in and excite you? Oh, yeah, definitely. Uh, I remember the losses that we had yesterday, like they were yesterday. And um, mm -hmm. I think that our team remembers those losses also, and we remember how it felt to lose. Um, to lose to those teams, and we also told the freshmen about it. And you know, we, we just we just know what we have to do this year. You know, last year's in the past, so I really don't bring it up a lot. Yeah. But I, I will say this year would be totally different from last year. Mentioning how y'all remember the, the results of last year, you had a very successful season, but it's obviously going to take some more, something different to get to that next level. What have you guys been doing differently so far to be able to reach a new level? Uh, definitely just believing in more. I think our talent took us to where we were last year. Um, and I think if we believe in more this year, that even bigger things will happen for us. And I think that this year, our team's work ethic, everybody's just in the gym. You don't you don't have to tell anybody, like, go get shots up. Like, everybody just puts everything together. Everybody wants the same goal. So I think it's going to be way easier for us to go farther, for us to be a smarter team, for us to be a harder team to guard because everybody works out on their own. Everybody knows what, what goal we're working towards. So it's going to be way easier. Um, I want to ask you, like, at the point guard spot, um, Jody had said that you and Gabby kind of – have that, that good relationship between each other and don't like worry about playing time and who's on the floor when. Um, how do y'all handle that? And also like how much of a luxury is it to have like two of y'all in that one guard spot that that can be a major asset? Uh, I think for me and Gabby, um, we're really close on the court and off the court. We talk during practice. When we get to the hotel, um, we go over and scout together. And for both of us, just personality-wise, we just watch a lot of basketball. And that's easier to know the game, boys basketball, watching boys basketball, watching girls basketball. It's easier to just know who you're playing against. We don't have to study our scout because we watch a lot of basketball. So as point guards, I just feel like we really take our time in knowing mentally how to beat the game and, you know, instead of just physically. When we spoke to Coach Taylor, she also mentioned that last season you may have surprised some teams, but that this year you've shown what you can do and nobody's going to overlook you. How do you think that's going to change this season and the way I'm going to have to play? Um, I think it'll help my team a lot. Uh, last year was my first year playing in the SEC. To me, I think the SEC is the best 
conference in college basketball, me coming from the ACC. So I think, um, you know, I'm not worried about, you know, the individual things. I've been working hard. I know they handle themselves. You know, I'm just worried about the team, and I'm really excited about this year. Um, I wanted to ask you about um, Maya Caldwell. I mean, as you kind of look at um, her and the, and the capability she has, mm -hmm. what's one thing that stands out most? I think Maya is a, a big spark. You know, she comes in the game. She's very aggressive. She can hit you with a, a three-point shot. She okay. can go, she can drive to the basket. She's very, very versatile. And she has good size and good length. So I think she can be very big for us, very big for us. She just has to continue working. And then, do you remember a game last year where she showed that spark, you know, and it, mm -hmm. and it kind of just got out? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I remember that game. That was, that was big time. I think she came in and got 12 points quick. Against who? I'm not sure. Okay. Yeah, I remember exactly what you're talking about, though. Okay. Yeah. All right, that's all. Anything else? Yeah, Thank you. All right, great job. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you. We got one more stop over here. All right.